Peace and blessings in this corner boxing 24. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is doing well. Nice day out here today. Still cold though. You know, weather switched up a little bit. Um, you know, it had warmed up a little bit yesterday, and I guess people thought when it was over, but it's right back. We got that blast, all right? So still winter time, fresh warm. So what I want to talk about today, man, is duck duck goose, right? Looks like Duck Duck Goose, Oscar Valdez, he finally signed that contract and now the chase is over. Okay, so now he's gonna fight Shakur Stevenson in Las Vegas on April 30th. Okay, so, um, you know, it's on now. Now he got backed into a position. Similar, it's kind of similar, right? With uh, Jamel Heron. Um, when he fought Shakur, Shakur said basically that he got backed into a corner and he had to fight him. So, of course, with Oscar Valdez, we know it's the same situation, man. He backed into a corner. He got no choice but to fight Shakur Stevenson. Um, my question with him is, you know, he said he drunk some green tea his last fight. And he struggled in the last fight, but he said he drank some green tea, but he came up positive for, for um, performance-enhancing drugs. So my question is, man, he's going up against Shakur Stevenson, a great boxer. So I'm very suspicious, man, on if he's going to try to use something, man, to enhance his performance on April 30th against Shakur, because if he could do it in his last fight and blame it on green tea, Wow, let's see what happens this time. I would be very concerned about that. You know, if I was Shakur, if I was his team, I would just be concerned about that, man, because, you know, we don't know what these guys is taking, man. All right? Now, Canelo, I think, was a different situation. He said it was a tainted meat. I kind of believe it because they did say it was a lot of tainted meat in Mexico. Maybe it's not true. I don't know. But I'll go with that one rather than somebody saying that they drunk some green tea. And they came up positive for performing and enhancing drugs like Oscar Valdez did. I'm not going for that, right? So I would just be very aware and very concerned about that. All right, but I'm glad the fight is on, man. I'm glad Shakur is going to get the chance, man, to fight Oscar Valdez and unify, you know, this division, man. Get this division unified after he gets this belt and then he got to get the other belt. Um, and then he'll be able to unify because Shakur got the WBO belt. Okay, so now, you know, after he fights Oscar Valdez, you know, then he'll be able to go for the other belt and unify the division. All right, now, originally, remember, old slick Bob Arum, he didn't even want to give Shakur the shot. He gave Shakur the shot to me because he was under pressure from uh, Terrence Crawford leaving him. And from the fact that he said that he was going to sue Bob Barham, so he felt under pressure. So because he felt under pressure, he said, you know what, let me give Shakur this fight. Because he really was going to give that fight, Oscar Valdez, to Navarrete. He didn't want to give Shakur the shot. But I'm glad Shakur got it so he could shine. Because I want him to fight. I want him to, um, you know, unify this 130 so that he can hurry up and eventually go up to 135 because that's where the real action is going to be. That's where the real noise is going to be made because that's where hopefully Devin Haney will hit, stick around at 135. And then, you know, you got Haney, you got Shakur, you have Shakur and you have Tank. But I know they're not going to be able to stick around too long because them dudes be putting on weight. Them dudes is big and they're growing. You know what I'm saying? They're growing. They're getting a little bit bigger. So... You know, but in any event, Shakur is going to get to 135. And whenever, wherever he goes, I think he'll even be able to go up to 140. Wherever he goes, I feel like he's going to be the winner. He's going to be able to unify that division. So right now, he did, you know, 126, he conquered that. He's going to conquer 130, and 135 is next. You know, um, but I know Oscar Valdez, like I said, besides the peas juice and the allegations of that, you know, Eddie Reynoso, trainer of the year. I, I do give him a lot of respect. I think he's a good trainer. 
And I know he's gonna definitely have them prepared. And I know Canelo gonna give him tips and pointers on how to fight Shakur, who's a southpaw, but you know, Shakur's gonna be on top, man. He's gonna be the winner. So yeah, we definitely looking forward to that fight. And um, you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have for the day. Again, that's April 30th. That fight will be in Vegas. And um, this is In This Corner Boxing 24. Peace and blessings. Support me. Subscribe to my page. You hit the like button. Help me get my subscribers up so I can keep bringing this content. Keep bringing the good information. Proper information. If I'm ever wrong about anything, you could, you could comment. You could let me know. If I make an error about a, a, a fight or a fighter or a statistic, anything, I'm not above correction. Okay? So... You know, I have no problem with that. All right, so everybody enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Peace and blessings. This is In This Corner Boxing 24. Peace.